So I'm coming to you live with a book review on Periscope. This is this is probably the first ever book review done on Periscope, I'm guessing. And uh, this is a book review of my buddy's book. That's not my buddy. I, I don't know Matt Diffie at all. This is an unsolicited review for for his book. I, I meant to say. Uh, this is hand-drawn jokes uh, for smart, attractive people. Actually, came to me from the publisher, so uh, I guess they thought it was part of the target audience. Hand-drawn jokes for smart, attractive people. Some people do unboxings, um, you know, if they don't have anything better to do with their time when they uh, could be out doing real stuff. So this is not an unboxing. This is a uh, this is a proper book review. Matt Diffie's hand drawn jokes for smart people. This is a really good book, and if you if you know Matt from um, the New Yorker, uh, you you know what to expect. Some pretty witty jokes and whatnot. But but it's not just jokes. It's actually got a bit of a story here. He talks about cartooning. He talks about his similarities to Chris Rock, of course would have all noted that. Um, and he kind of talks his way through different track, um, different chapters, uh, different kinds of cartoons or, or hand-drawn jokes for the medical profession, for relationships, for food, for prison, etc. You know, lots of, lots of uh, topics, in other words. And he talks a little bit about himself as a cartoonist, and he... Uh, he shares a lot of cartoons. You might know him, as I mentioned, from The New Yorker. He also had a really cool show um, that he did with another cartoonist who, I hope you'll forgive me, I, I don't remember, his, remember who it was at the moment. Uh, he did a show called Rejected Cartoons, where he would show these cartoons, not necessarily these cartoons, but he would show cartoons from The New Yorker, and uh, they were rejected. And he would show you the cartoon, and then he would show you the quip, and you know, you'd often understand why the New Yorker wouldn't take them. Um, but he also edited a few books of these cartoons, um, which were by his fellow New Yorker cartoonists. Um, this one's all his stuff, and it's really cool. Page at a time, his drawings. Check this one out. This is, uh, here's just one. Uh, the feelings of inadequacy are common among the inadequate. Ouch. Well, there's a lot more where that came from. I was in a different place then, yes. Do you want a spoon or do you want a fork? Okay. Uh, you can always get the good gossip around here, uh, around the vodka cooler. I think we could use one of those at Razorfish. A, um, maybe a whiskey cooler. I think whiskey's the, the beverage of choice at Razorfish. Anyway, lots of good stuff in here. Reads real easy. You'll want to sit down and read it. Uh, in one sitting like like I attempted to before falling asleep. But that, that wasn't because it wasn't fascinating reading. That was because uh, I should have been asleep. Uh, good stuff. Nice work, Matt, buddy. I mean, um, guy who I've never met before in my life, and I happen to be reviewing this book just because of its own merits. Uh, no, seriously, this is really good stuff, and, and you might enjoy checking it out. So ends my... Periscope review, not to be confused with an unboxing or something like that. But this is Hand Drawn Jokes for Smart, Attractive People by Matt Diffie. Uh, pretty sure it's going to be coming soon to a store near you. Check it out.